Here we go, guys. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Brotherhood from Cincinnati, Ohio. Weighing in at 241 pounds, he is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Mark Magnum! The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. He said he wants to be the most dominant champ in history, so he will not let up in a non-title situation. The shot caller is in the house. And his opponent representing the Usos from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 251 pounds, Jimmy Uso! Part of arguably the greatest tag team in WWE history, a member of possibly the greatest faction in WWE history, there's no questioning the unbelievable ability of Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso has been empowered with a renewed sense of devotion to his family and loyalty to the Tribal Chief. It's ironic you talk about Jimmy's devotion to his family considering what he's done to his twin brother Jay. When it comes down to it, Jimmy is only devoted to one person, Jimmy. Jimmy Uso claims he's all about taking what's his. Every time he steps into the ring, he's going in there prepared for not just a fight, but prepared for battle. And Jimmy's always been a bit brass, but he truly believes that he is doing what is necessary to defend his family's legacy in this business, to defend the bloodline. Yeah, Jimmy Uso is certainly not afraid to do whatever it takes when it comes to staking his claim. But come on, non-title match or not, they are dealing with a certified champion in this one who isn't going to treat this like an exhibition. Snap, pile driver! There's a certain amount of anger you have to have towards your opponent to pile drive them like that. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Oh, he retaliates! Corey, I'm wondering, is there any pop... Oh, no, I hate when they do this. Look out! Misses the spear and goes crashing to the outside of the ring. Oh, no! An absolutely foolhardy decision made there. That could be very costly. Don't know if the risk was worth it. Well, this is not going to be good. Oh! Implant buster! Fishing for something beneath the ring. This crowd is truly unworthy of his... Look out! Jimmy saves himself. Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. Pulled back in. Belly to belly suplex. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. And now gets tossed into the ring. Vicious right forearm. Quick 
quickly to cover. And he powers out. Not yet. Round and round into the... Satellite DDT. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Stiff forearm shot. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Ah, oh, what a counter. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. This won't end well. Nasty, jarring shot, and there's more to come. Uh oh. A swinging neck breaker. That wasn't just a move, that was a statement. And he goes for the pin. Just after two. He really thought that was it. Uh oh. Ooh, Jimmy manages to counter. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Jimmy gets intercepted. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights up. Jimmy Uso taking quite a beating. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. Jimmy Uso is going to need to get his comeback on lockdown. Good call. Into the backbreaker. High cross the shoulder up. I and mean, you gotta think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Oh! Ho, ho. Nearly cut in half. My gosh, over the head, belly to belly. He's heading up top. Thinking big. He turns it around. Kick, a double super kick. Jimmy's showing just how prepared for this fight he is. Goose is fired up and showing out. Launching and coming down with incredible force. Will Jimmy seal this up? Two. Amazing. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. I can't tell if it's anger in the eye of the fact that he hasn't finished this or of his disbelief that his opponent is still in this. Boom. Oh, Nasty. Turning the tables. What's he looking for? Here. Headbutt to the groin. That was low. He fends off the attack. Jimmy saw it coming. Now, this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. DDT! Eyes are squarely set on Jimmy here. What are they going to do here? Terrible position for Jimmy. Shoulder up before three. He's in total disbelief. That did not finish the job. Everyone watching this is in total disbelief right now. And now the question runs in the mind, how am I going to be able to end this? Great job anticipating Jimmy. You can begin to see it in these superstars' faces. Exhaustion is beginning to set in. They're starting to breathe heavier. This is the time where matches are won and lost. To the sky. No, 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 no. Move that out of the way. Vicious right forearm. He deflects it right back. Boom. Oh, man, a drop kick. From the ropes, oh my god! Wow, breathtaking. That hit the spot, the he's cover. finished. Oh, the champion showing off the 
ship to the WWE fans, and look who's here. This superstar taking interest in the champ, and the champ is saying, you want some? Come on down. Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa. This is DIY. I've been fortunate enough to call many of the wars these two men have fought side by side and against each other. They are a fun team to watch. Two men who have been the heart and soul of NXT. They brought that same passion to the main roster and have quickly become a top team in the WWE. And we're about to see that passion on display. Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. The Judgment Day can beat you in so many ways. The numbers game, brute force, or pure intimidation. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. The Judgment Day, almost creative in their physicality. They take pleasure in it, Michael. I hope medical is standing by for this one. Well, the Judgment Day, quite simply, will do anything to win. Well, there's competition, Corey, and then there's what Judgment Day is willing to resort to. The following contest is a tag match set for one thumb. And it is for the World Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 400 pounds. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. DIY. And their opponents at a combined weight of 300 There you see what it's all about. Tag Team Gold. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, collectively known as DIY, ready for action. 
That acronym is what fuels Ciampa and Gargano. They were never expected to even make it to WWE, but they have become an all-time great team because of DIY, or do it yourself. It's brought Gargano and Ciampa very far. Let's see if it leads them to victory tonight, too. And then we've got the ever-intimidating Judgment Day. They have all the tools they need at their disposal. Power, technical ability, and ruthlessness. And they function impressively well as a unit. The Judgment Day knows how to stick to a plan and always keep the upper hand inside the ring. Able to sidestep it. Overhand right lands, getting him into the corner. Chop. Followed by a, a drop kick to follow. Look ringside now, guys. This manager is doing something very suspicious. It seems like she's looking to take things up a notch or two for the title. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. McDonough starting to get the crowd involved. The challenger is looking shaken. Yeah, and this is the hostility McDonough wanted to bring. Oh, point of the elbow finds the mark. Oof. Gargano showing his alertness there. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. The table sacks on the apron. Look out for Fortune favors the bold. These risks could be a winning strategy. Finn Balor tags in. Ooh. And he tosses him back in now. And Balor's attack gets cut off. Check your face after that one. That's gotta be it. Two kicks out. He still has life. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Good golly. Caught by surprise with that close line. Still only got one. Still going to take a massive effort to keep him down. With the counter. Balor with the kick. Balor on the move. Basement drop kick finds the mark. Saw it coming and got out of there. Uh-oh. And Finn heads him off at the pass. Smart strategy, attack the knee. Boom. Byron, I think Finn Balor's due for a little target practice. Oh, you're not lying. There he comes. Oh. Kick. Going way up high. Incoming. Diving front drop kick. Another one bites the dust to the champ. He's still in this fight. And look at the disbelief on the face of the champion. They both know what's at stake. Neither competitor is going to lose easy here. Balor still has the tools to get the job done. He has to remain confident and keep focused now. Placed in the corner. Here's the tag. Super kick. Oh, look at the knees. One after the other. Champa 
lining him up from the top turnbuckle. Look out! Whoa, look out! Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. Going right after the neck, neck breaker. And fans' ruthlessness being called into question after that attack. Yeah, Champa attacked with a destructive purpose. No, oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. Immense pressure being kicked on Balor. Champa will stop at nothing to get ahead. And J.D. gets out of the way. The brain buster. There's two. Title match stays alive. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Oh, what a cover by the champ. The challenger is able to kick out. Shows that this is still anybody's match at this point. Ooh. Surprise. He went right into that turnbuckle. And he's able to reverse. Oh, a huge double stop in the core. Just caught flush. Oh, Gargano's been busted open. Dragon screw. Make it over. Oh, beautiful. Gargano gets reversed. Ooh, vicious headbutt. Ooh, answer that with a stiff knee. Oh, my goodness. Tag made. Double team coming from this duo. First out of the corner. A muscle buster now from the top rope. Cross. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Come Good night. Got it. And they stay atop the tag division. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. do wonders and make no mistake this was a wonderful performance tonight Here comes the 330 pounder, Bronson Reed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed! Bronson Reed tips the scales at over 330 pounds, but is the agility of a man half his size? Though when that tsunami comes crashing down, you'll know you ain't facing a cruiserweight. Bronson Reed is indeed ready for war. I have a feeling we're just moments away from another jaw-dropping 
Pardon me, Stu. Tsunami! One of the most destructive forces we've ever seen. And his opponent from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 350 pounds, the Samoan Bulldozer, Umaga! A multiple-time Intercontinental Champion here in WWE, a truly terrifying blend of size, speed, and aggression. And think about all the epic brawls we've seen Umaga involved in against the likes of both John Cena and Bobby Lashley. The most dangerous Samoan competitor in the history of WWE. And that is saying a lot. He's one of the most purely destructive superstars we've ever seen, Umaga. He can't be reined in or stopped. Umaga pursues victory with as of yet unmatched aggression and brutality. And that's why they call him the Samoan Bulldozer Cole. The ferocity Umaga exhibits inside the ring is enough to knock down a building. So if you find yourself on the wrong side of Umaga, good luck to you. But it's going to take much more than just luck to survive an encounter with him. And we're about to see how he fares against Big Bronson Reed. Because it's nothing personal. Destroying the competition is just the business Reed is in. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. What a nasty body block. Oh, a debilitating elbow drop. Drops an elbow. It's obvious that Umaga's size and strength are his biggest assets here. Corey, is that... Whoa! Suicide dive! That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their overall being. It's Umaga on the receiving end of some brutal offense there. Bronson Reed putting that throwback strength of his to good use. He's going for it all. Up high, cross body! Did you guys feel the rumble from that impact? Vicious right forearm. Flattened with a body block. Followed immediately by a big elbow. Flipping same time. Into the pin attempt. Gets the shoulder up after one. Kicking out there really. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum. Gets the shoulder up. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Vice-like grip on the trapezius muscle. This is terribly painful. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Escape just in time. Oh, my God. Stopped dead in their tracks. Counter from Umaga. Superstar setting up. Garden Slinger! And Reed didn't find a defense for that attack. Umaga just bludgeoned him like a battering ram. Mistake by Umaga. And all eyes are on Reed now. This is just brute power. German! Just pure cover! And he easily stopped. The ref's count. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Ooh. Oh, look at the well placed elbow right on the mark. Catches the kick into a dragon screw leg whip. Oh, strong impact. Can he score the pin? And he is saved by the ropes. This has been a highly 
competitive matchup since the get-go. And appears to be looking for some sort of reprieve, or maybe not. Maybe just decide doesn't want to have, be a part of this match anymore. We well, can't just out. quit. Oh, uh -oh. You are going nowhere, my friend. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. Now we can actually watch this match. Cowardly actions are very rarely... He thinks he has it! He kicks out at two. How? How? Uh-oh. Great reversal. Absolutely crushing display of power from the big Aussie. Here we go. You're ready for it. Wow. Choke slam. Umaga heads up. This is going to be nasty. From the top. He manages to escape it. Driver. Umaga looks out of it. Two count. Oh, and he just kicked out. There is not a more terrifying sight than Umaga kicking out after you hit him with your best shot. And you can sense the desperation mounting as that last move couldn't finish things. Oh, wait a second. Caught in minute. Sit out. Powerball. The end is looming now. This is a very dangerous situation now. Delivered into the barricade. No! Face first, snake eyes! Umaga fends that off. These two trade encounters, an absolute masterclass. This fight has to be seen to be believed. Who will prevail? True greats are at their best when their backs are against the wall. And up the turnbuckles we go. Can we close things out? Two. Oh, he got him on a win. Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. still don't have their opponent's respect after this. At least they have something to celebrate. Well, it looks like the earlier show of disrespect really lit a fire underneath them. Oh, uh, kind of like you and Byron, Corey. Oh, uh, you could give Saxon a matchbook and he still wouldn't be able to light a fire. Hey! See what I mean? Britain's most beautiful import sent to us in a pair. Yes, boy! The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 357 pounds, Elton Prince and Kit Wilson. Pretty deadly! Kit Wilson, Elton Prince, two exceptional in-ring talents with exceptionally inflated egos. Jealousy is not a good color on you, Saxton.
kind of them, allowing the WWE Universe to bask in their wonderfulness. Well, I have to admit, they're as dangerous as they are flamboyant, pretty much like their name says. This is a top-level team, guys. Each of these superstars could be a main eventer by themselves, but together, they're even better. The two goofs in the super crop tops are Kit Wilson and Elton Prince, collectively known as Pretty Dead. Goofs? Cole, these two men are as professional as they come. They come into work every week to take care of business. It's not a crime to look good doing it. In fact, I think the only crime around here is one of fashion, and I'm looking in your direction when I say that, and the Saxtons, too. I would love to see some of that professionalism in this match, then. That would be pretty deadly. If you ask me, they are a well-oiled machine that can run a seminar in tag team wrestling. They certainly pose a real threat to their competition who might have a difficult time matching their chemistry. And that was a well-executed attack. Vicious right forearm. Forearm smash. Big knee to the midsection. with the counter. Placed into the corner. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Look at this, going counter for counter. Net breaker! Ouch. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah, here we go. Kick to the gut. <laughs> oh, my right. Oof. Go oh, across the top rope. That unraveled on Elton. A oh, tag made. Man, that was that chemistry you cannot teach. Caught with a punch. Oh, God, man. Double shoulder block. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No, thank you. Cover. Shoulders are down. End this now. Oh, he's playing puzzle. And a kick out. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Ooh, and a reversal. Prince saw that was coming. Real European uppercut. Gets the tag. These two 
to having an answer for everything. Stops the incoming attack with a knee to the face. Yikes, that'll be the wake you up or knock you out. Takes their breath out. Effective counter. Dominating shoulder tackle. Clear the deck. Cannonball coming through. He's starting to struggle here. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. All on the apron, lifting it up into the ring. Bam! He can end it here. Oh, he kicked out. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Boom! Kick keeps him away. You can see the frustration starting to build. Still no end in sight here. Planted with a wicked DDT. Great count. Kick out just in time. This could be a tipping point in this match. Avoiding contact. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. We are seeing the will to win from these men. Not an ounce of quit in them. The struggle to gain power has switched hands multiple times. It's been a seesaw battle at times. And Tony didn't see that coming. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. There he goes, right into the corner. That could ground kick for good. Cover! There's two! Oh, picking up the victory as his opponent does his best. Saxton stares up at the lights. That had to be one of the matches of the year. Let's take another look at some of the action. Just an ugly loss for Kit Wilson and Elton Prince here tonight. For my money, these two just might be the best tag team on the roster today. Here comes a mix of beauty, brains, and brawn. McCool is simply flawless. No one likes you. It'll be over soon. As intelligent and crafty as they come, she went from teaching seventh grade science to schooling her fellow superstars. An absolute strategist in and out of the ring. McCool looks ready to give the competition an extreme makeover. But believe me, it won't be pretty. Saxton, I think, yeah, I think you could use an extreme makeover yourself. No protection, no sanctuary. Lyra Valkyria has arrived.
one of the top competitors in NXT history, now ready to soar in WWE as well. One of the fastest rising stars in the women's division, ready to continue her ascent. This title has been widely talked about and become many superstars' main focus. Here we go with the title on the line. The stakes in this match really couldn't be any higher. Uh, you can tell these superstars are ready to give their all to walk out of here the champion. They might be limping out of here if this match is even half as intense as I think it might be. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Going across the back of the neck. She's able to fight McCool off. Connecting with a sharp elbow. What are we going to see from Michelle? Here we go. She certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Just disrespectful. But this could also light a fire under you. Make you fight even harder. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Oh, that opens the door for Valkyria. Boom! Stationary position, turns around. Well, boom, soft. Incredible agility. When you have the skill, you flaunt it and you make it hurt, too. She shows that she's far from finished. Delivers the cross body. Look at this serious combination of strikes with a vicious series of strikes. Uh, strike after strike after strike. A couple of kicks to the leg. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Oh my gosh, what impact! Left by the turnbuckles. Way across the top turnbuckle, certainly not ideal. Oh, look at this now. Corey, when you're up top like that, there's only one way to go. Oh, my God. And now Valkyria looks in control. But McCool, here's the pin. Title on the line. She breaks the count quick. And those kickouts are only going to get harder. And Lyra Valkyria is revving this crowd up. Across the top rope, what a hot shot. Uh-oh. A slick shot, cross body. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like, watch out. Moved at the right time. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Dominating shoulder tackle. McCool falling victim to a surge of attacks here. Full focus from Lyra Valkyria. Oh! <laughs> German suplex! Hey guys, she's dangerously close to a countout loss. 
And she slides her back to the mat. The champion into the cover. Stays in the fight for the title. Wow. Oh, and she got out of there. And Valkyria expected that. The champion's down. The champion's down. Oh, my God. We're going to have a new champion. And a kick out at two. She is still fighting. Still keeping this going. Ooh, what a forearm club. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Oh, a shot to the back of the neck. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. We're about to see how tough she really is. She turns it right around with a counter. Oh, arm drag. Oh. German suplex. And Lyra Valkyria is revving this crowd up. Up on the turnbuckle now. All right, guys, we know what comes next. The hooks are in. Here comes the pain. Spider suplex. And now Valkyria looks in good. Look at the high frog splash. The champ will stay champ. Kick out still has hope. Just barely able to kick out. I thought the champ had it in the bag. This is how much the championship needs. You can see the sweat chip out of the challengers every pull. That was a great opportunity to put this one away, but it slipped right through her fingers. What more can any of these women do in this scenario? You have to squeeze every last ounce out of whatever gas you have left in the tank. And get suplexed instead. Oh. Turning in the left arm, and look at this. Got the arm trap raining down 12-6 elbows. McCool is everything working against turnout. Full focus from Lyra Valkyria. With the championship on the line. Oh, my God! Can you believe it? Can you believe she powered out? Oh! Oh! Solid kick across the back. Steering clear of that. She's staying elusive. Uh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. McCool keeping her opponent at bay. Shit breaker into a suplex. Great combo. Most disrespectful. Oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Oh, look at the knee strikes. Just endless knee strikes. The champ looking out of sorts. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Goodness gracious. The WWE Universe has come alive in this one. They are up and they are vocal. A lot of energy in the room. A non-stop assault from Michelle here. Valkyria needs to figure things out. Oh, look at the power now. I can't believe this. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, suplex. She's going up. Top rope here. Back into the ring. From the top. Double axe handle. Consecutive high-risk maneuvers, and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. Step up in Zagiri, and the champion finally ready to put this one away. Almost ended it there. The determination of the challenger keeps this match going. You can just see how much this title means, how much one is willing to go to to claim themselves as the new champion. And McCool gets stonewalled. Leg Lariat! Lyra diagnosing her target. Lyra Valkyria has her up. Nightwing connects. The champ has this one in hand now. Two. That's it. The champ stays the 
champ. Now let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. She's not losing this title that easily. She's got her sights set on a long reign. The LWO is in the house. It's the cool until you say it. It's an elimination match. Making his way to the ring, representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Santos Escobar is such a dangerous competitor. He came up in Mexico City's lucha scene. Escobar has always been a standout talent, from fighting in the underground to the highest heights in NXT. A background in lucha tradition, but ready to make his own moves to the top of WWE. Santos Escobar continues to build his empire, and he'll do anything to keep it intact. Escobar is determined to provide and protect his family. Beware, he's full of surprises. Prepare for a truly glorious arrival. A champion in NXT and WWE, no one else as glorious. glorious. And his opponents, first from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, the glorious Robert Roode. You can never underestimate Robert Roode in ring abilities. Because if you make that mistake, you are in for a rude awakening. See what I did there? I get it. Robert Rude about to compete here tonight. to see veteran moves for days. An incredibly impressive athlete. Yeah, but his tactics in the ring can sometimes be a little less than glorious. Oh, trust me, if it earns the win, it's glorious. Here's a man who's already achieved so much in his young career. Who 
could forget when Austin Theory beat John Cena at WrestleMania. And in case you forget, I'll remind you every time. When you have a rise like Theory has, every match presents a major test in your career. Oh, and he's passed every one of those tests so far. Unfortunately, there are too many doubters and haters who fail to realize just how talented Austin is. It looks like Theory brought all of his friends in the ring with him tonight. Oh, watch your mouth, Cole. You are looking at the youngest United States champion and Mr. Money in the bank ever. How did that cash in go? Well, that... I can't... Well, I, I don't have that information readily available. Usually the guys at 2K are great about giving me the stats. I, I, I'll get back to you. Taking control of his own destiny. And this is the Kansas newly focused City. And Way some have said he vitalized Baron Corbin. Baron. A man who believes he's returned to his roots, who's gone back to basics. Corbin's come out here looking for a fight, and you can believe that's what we're about to get. Baron Corbin's been a king, a jester, an authority figure, even a bum. Yeah, but now Corbin is truly himself. No more gimmicks. His past destroyed, Baron Corbin looks to unleash some pent-up aggression here tonight. I, for one, cannot wait to see it. Corey, what should be the game plan in this type of match? The plan should be in place to isolate and eliminate the most dominant force in the match, and then the remaining three competitors do battle until they win. It makes sense to create a three-on-one situation, but be careful. Uh-oh. What are they going to do here? Oh, All the way out. Flex. Uh, this one's over. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Close line. A successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Quick thinking from Theory. Jumping net breaker. Ouch. Back to Rude. And shoulders are down. Power right out in one. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Off. 
Attack to the midsection. Precise. They've got their opponent's arm. Driving and knee into the arm. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Down through the table. Clearly holding nothing back. Using that well-placed table to great effect. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Close. That could have been it. Yeah. Santos was ready there. Oof. Lands the haymaker. <laughs> Meanwhile, Escobar. He's got him scouted. Compromised position here. He's expressing pain. Kick to the midsection. Tying his opponent up. And that was an effective attack, guys. Will that clinch it for theory? No, stops the count at two. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? He gets out of the way. Gets out of there in a hurry. And he sends him into the corner. Goes on the corner by theory. How's that for a counter? Austin Theory about to take his opponent off the ATL. Feeling like it's over for Santos. Two. And that's it for Escobar. He's eliminated. Bloody blow stifles the attack. Was ready for that. Between the ropes, rolls through. Nice he may get the three count right here. I think so. And a kick out at two. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Uh, this DDT. Glorious DDT. Will Rude take advantage? Two. I right, kicked out. of Baron Corbin after witnessing what we just saw. I think there's still some shock in the air over the fact that that didn't produce a pinfall. Has him up for the power slam. Oh, and an inverted DDT. Oh, man. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. DDT! Things are looking dire for Baron Corbin. Something's got to change quick. This has just been an absolute massacre. The night looks to be coming to an end for the Lone Wolf. Theory sidesteps. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. With all this in mind, take it from me. Nothing good ever comes from rearranging furniture. He's taking this to the floor now. Unloads with the boot. And Rude has been taking hits after hits in this one. At this stage, I don't know where Corbin gets this undeniable aggression. And Corbin is still as destructive as ever at this point. Rude might be dangerously close to being put away. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Into the ring now. Big punch finds its mark. 
Between the ropes, rolls through. That's drop kick. Put into the corner now. Boot to the mush. Effective way to counter any attack. Planning on what to do next. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? Rude gets fended off. Rocked with the point of the elbow. What a counter! Power slam! Oh, it's going to be interesting. Kick to the midsection. Oh, look at this! Four attacks here! Rude felt the full force of that one. Two count! And Rude's night is over. He's eliminated. Oh, good night. And the Kyrgyz finds his mark. Goes around the corner by Fury. Leaping. And does he have it here? Oh, my God. He's still in the match. He got the shoulder up right at the last moment. Boom. What an interception. Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. Uh-oh. End of days. Corbin might take it here. There's two. Close. What? How on earth did Theory manage to kick out of that? I cannot believe what we are seeing out of him tonight. Believe it, Saxton. And Corbin must be feeling robbed. I'm sure in his mind he got the three count. Oh, and Theory fights back. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. for these superstars is echoing throughout this arena right now. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Oh, hit by a flying stop sign. That had to hurt. Three. Thought he had you it. You gotta be kidding me. He was elusive there. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? What a shot. What a punch. Punch connects. He's doing some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. Superstar standing. With a superstar in every corner, we knew this would be spectacular. I am floored by what we saw here tonight. On behalf of the entire WWE Universe, thank you, Trish. Such a suck-up. The following contest is scheduled for one fall.
making her way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish Stratus! Formerly an inspiration to the WWE Universe for decades. Well, maybe she still would be if those fans properly thanked her. Ugh. Trish has won a lot of matches and looked great doing it. An amazing mix of beauty and brawn. EO Sky is here to show who's really in charge. A woman who has reached the top of WWE but still demands your respect. And representing damage control from Tokyo, Japan, EO Sky! An NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, a Dusty Classic winner, NXT Women's Champion, and multiple time WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. Yeah, there is truly no limit to the future success of EO Sky, especially with damage control by her side. Well, lover or hater, Sky has one of the best moonsaults in all of WWE. You're right about that, Saxon. If we're lucky, we'll see another one tonight. The genius of the Sky about to assert control. What separates Trish Stratus from other competitors is the mean streak. When she flips that switch, Trish can eviscerate the WWE Universe officials and her opponent. You got that right, Cole. Heck, Trish is comfortable taking aim at the entire women's division. When you have her incredible in-ring IQ, you can battle anybody. Trish demands recognition, and those who don't give her that satisfaction will feel her wrath. The genius of the sky is more than ready for her, though. Because if there's one thing about EO, she's always prepared. Prepared to fight, prepared to make the impossible look easy, and of course, prepared to win. Corey, it has to be a bit daunting taking on a legend like Trish Stratus one-on-one. -on -one. She can end it here. And Trish continues to fight. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. What a drop kick right to the back. And Stratus getting a taste of the worst right there. Can't say that EO Sky didn't come for. Is it enough here? Fending off a two count there. She's still in this one. Dodges out of the way. EO managing to get some control back now. Now's a chance for EO to get back into this match. And another counter. Oh! Sky is feeling it, channeling that energy from the WWE Universe. She's pushed into the corner. Boom, right in the chest. And a drop kick in the corner. Perfectly executed. Knew what was coming there. She's showing how much punishment she can withstand before getting her own offense in. She's tipping the scales here a bit. Impressive reversal there. Oh, nice backslide. Pinning combination. She kicks out with authority after two. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Gets out of it with a well-placed knee to the face. Oh, nice balance into the knee drop. Cover! There's two! Big kick out. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Ooh! And Io is in command. Io has everything going how she wants it. Oh, from behind. That'll give you some whiplash. Getting set up for something in the corner. Reversal from Trish Stratus. Trish managing to get some control back now. Could be what Trish needed to ignite a rally. Top of that turnbuckle is not. And Trish Stratus looking for some stratosphere. She could pin her opponent right here. It's 
he kicks out at two. No celebrations yet. EO in a daze. Could be over soon. EO moved at the right time. Reigns down an elbow in retaliation. These two battling to a dead. Going for it. Trying to step through. Roll on their belly. Exhibiting a crazy amount of strength here. I'm not sure there's anything she can do here. She trying to steal one here. And she's not done yet. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Oh! EO Sky getting the crowd involved here. And EO's offense gets fought off. Could set something else up. You can tell she wants to put an end to this. Flying. Diving DDT. Planet. Off into the pin. Two. And Trish continues to fight. Somehow, some way. How did Scout it? Just how seriously will this be enough? Barely beats the three. Oh man, my heart's get to beat. Watch out! Trying to and this has got to be it. Oh, and a kick out! How in the world? Somebody pinched me. I be dreaming. There's no way she's still in this match. Trish thinking she can close this one out. Saw an opening and took them off their feet. Blast off. Over the moonsault by EO Sky. The lights are dimming for Trish. Two. Win. A big win. That took a huge effort. Let's take another look at these women in action. Here is your winner, Io Sky! What a win for Io Sky. Obviously, this is not a great night for Trish Stratus. It's tough to believe Trish suffered defeat, but in the end, she had nowhere to go. the Viper, the most lethal superstar in WWE history. The following contest is a six-man tag match. Introducing first from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. Randy Orton is basically a five-star general of psychological warfare. Learned his killer instinct in evolution and has now evolved into the apex predator. Randy's entire body is a weapon. He's forged it through two decades of war. 
Yeah, Randy Orton is no ordinary man, and, and there's nothing he won't do to take you down. His opponent must understand the presence and the danger in front of him. Well, Randy Orton has made a career out of psychologically dissecting his opponents. And many of the victims who have fallen for the Viper schemes stay down for good. Writes his own story in Venom. Randy Orton can't be controlled. does not look happy tonight. And from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! As gritty and tough as they come, KO has to be one of the most hardened superstars anyone can face in this business. And that is how he has spent nearly a decade as a top name in WWE. There have been very few folks to main event a single WrestleMania, let alone two. But KO has done just that. Yeah, KO's not the kind of superstar you'd picture as a multi-time WrestleMania main eventer, but he's made an entire career out of defying expectations. Underdog no more. He has reached main event status. And from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn! There is perhaps no superstar with more heart in WWE than Sami Zayn. You can beat him down, kick him around over and over again, but Sammy will always get back up. The WWE Universe is on their feet for Sami Zayn. Thank you. 
matches like these with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is an art form. Six-person tag team match time. This should be interesting. So many moving parts. So many different combinations at play. I cannot wait to see what these superstars have in store for the WWE Universe. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Boom, right the button. Oh, that hurt right in the kidney. Golly. Solid contact from the Viper. The thing about six-man tag matches is they tend to get wild and crazy the longer they go on. But I'm on the top. Double axe handle connects. The cover shoulders down. And they kick out at two. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Short punch. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Out of the way in time. Tagged in. Big elbow. Gut kick. Nothing fancy there. Just a step ahead of Owens. Oh, using the knee. Oh, what a knee strike. The Rock firing up. Hot. 
the quickness on this snap suplex just letting his opponent know who the real top guy is unbelievable athleticism you have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move into the corner now Sami Zayn retaliates blocked the effort and cut them off with a shot to the gut Here's the tag. Up top. Aiden Cross body on the mark. His shoulders are down. Oh, somehow. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Oh, ouch. Oh, foot just stopping down. Boom. And Sammy's focus looked like it was shaking after that. Yeah, that's the kind of offense that opened people's eyes to the rock. This is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. Ooh. He was waiting for him to make his move. Attempted clothesline. Here's a cover. And he manages to kick out in one. He's still in this. Oh, oh Zane anticipated that. Uh-oh. Kneecap goes right into the face to halt the attack. Wow, that right there is classic rock. Into the DDT. There's a fisherman suplex. Two just kicks out. Close call. That was almost lights out. Spike with a Michinoku driver. And frustration might be starting to set in. Yeah. Effective arm drag. A torturous knee. Vicious knee. Boom. Clearly waiting for that. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Rock plants him with a spine buster. Get ready, Corey! Get ready for the most electrifying move in all of sports entertainment! The people's elbow! Picture perfect from The Rock! Cover! Big time clothesline. Good grief. The Rock, can you smell it? And The Rock's opponent is looking like a jabroni. Oof, ruthless striking. Good timing with that reversal. Spear! Got the tag. Got the tag. He saw it. The Rock has him hooked. A real bottom by the Rock. Is that what it takes to beat KO? Amazing kick out. We know Owens loved the fight, and he won't let this one go just yet. It isn't over yet. The Rock has to find a way to persevere right now if he wants to end this. In off the tag. Tagging his partner in now. No, 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 no. Spike into the ring apron. Nailed it. Shining wizard. Looking for the victory. Two count kicks out. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. And we just saw some serious offense. short of two. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. He reverses it. Arm drag provides an escape. Vicious right forward. Neither one of these men are showing any signs of staying down. Yeah, but it can't last much longer at this pace. Gash on KO. For the win! Nailed it! Shining Wizard! 
the WWE Universe showing the love for these superstars who have given them so much tonight. Oh, clubs line. Oh, man. Orton has the momentum against him here. This can't be how Randy Orton envisioned this match going. He's been placed in the corner now. Owens gets control. Boom, what a punch. Well, this is one matchup that lived up to its billing, and then some. Here are your winners, the Bloodline! Got to give these three credit for an amazing victory here tonight. Yep, that's what we call a good day at the office. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the phenomenal one. A man who exceeded all expectations in WWE and is now a first ballot Hall of Famer. This is a man who is always looking to steal the show and win titles. Endless confidence in his abilities with his proven track record. And no doubt about it, Cole Styles is excellence personified. Truly second to none in the ring. From the underground of New York City, Damian Priest has arrived. Calm demeanor, but about to unleash chaos. Damian Priest is the genuine article, living the best rock star life. Champagne, jacuzzis, beautiful ladies on each arm. This dude is the real deal. And all business in the ring. Born and raised in the concrete jungle of New York City, Damian Priest lives to throw hands. Damian Priest has this unchecked rage, ready to attack at will. He'll shut you down, and in the end, he will turn out your lights. Introducing the challenger from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles! And his opponent from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, Damian!
highly contested World Heavyweight Championship handed to our official, each superstar getting a glance of what's at stake. Here we go, guys. This contest is for the World Heavyweight Championship. In very short order, this has become a highly coveted title here in WWE. Every guy wants to get their hands on it and take their turn as heavyweight champ. It's about proving you're one of the best in this business today. One of the... Oh, right, it's down. Line. It's cinched in. This could be over. Oh, just tap out. Just... We're going to free the arm and does just that. That man right surfboards. And he escapes the submission before things got more disastrous for him. Oh, God. Brutal chop block. Vicious attack. They outlaw that move from other sports for a reason. Up handle up. Uh-oh. That holds back Styles' attack. For the Russian oh. leg sweep. Here's the pin title on the line. No, he pops the shoulder before three. The end was in sight. Oh, what a kick. We've seen AJ get surprised once or twice in the past, Corey. What do you think the key is going to be for him to avoid an upset loss in this one? The key is patience. Matches go long, and AJ does well in the deep end. He needs to control the pace to prevent his opponent from capitalizing on an opportunity. The second rope. Oof! A right hand stops it. A uh, hammerlock now. And it Goes into the pin. And he breaks the count quickly. Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Reese with the elevated flatliner. Is it enough? Just gets the shoulder up. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Bam! AJ with the wherewithal to avoid that. Oh my gosh! Able to reverse that one. Kick right to the face. Right forward. A big punch. Ouch. The challenger is not in a great place. Statement being made by Priest. Power behind every maneuver he lays in. Scooped up and down. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? And the champ does not end it. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close. Styles taking him by surprise. Big flying form. From the second rope. Goodness, what a sunset flip. Damien Priest, crucifix, crucifix power bomb. I think the champ's got it. Try and end it. Oh, kicks out, kicks out. Simply refusing to let this opportunity slip away. And who knows if there'll be another shot? Yet you can't give up now. Priest clearly thinking, what am I going to have to do to put this one away? Powerless 
position to be in right now. These nasty elbow shots trying to create separation. Ooh. The challenger is in some big trouble. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. Oh, man, AJ Styles may be wishing he was back in Japan around now. Styles will rally. Relax. Burning hammer! There's that high cover by the champ! Oh, and still to... No! Title still on the line! How is he still in this match? By the skin of his teeth. Throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Off the rope. Oof. He gets what he deserves for all that gloating. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. The crowd is fired up. Priest is fired up. Ooh. He must have had that scouted. Pulled back into the hip toss. Styles is getting dominated. Styles being systematically worked. Damian Priest. Grip locked in. South of heaven. A championship level move. And these guys are trying to prove they belong in the main event. That they are on top of the mountain here. Big time confidence leading to big time matches. I love it. No title still hangs in the back. Almost inhuman at this point. Watch out! German suplex! Some hard offense landing on the champ. That was one way to get things phenomenally done. Styles going down. Good job getting to the ropes there. Yeah, that could have been bad. Styles has that look. Gonna try to end it. Styles. Oh, my. Look at this. Pop up Styles clash. That was phenomenal. Gonna see a new champ, too. We almost had a new champion. I knew it would take more than that to put the champ away. AJ Styles setting him up with the Styles clash. The title might change hands. Two. This is complete insanity. Still holding on to the title by the skin of their teeth. And now AJ has to recalibrate, has to gather himself again. Hammer it away! Every person in this capacity crowd is on their feet. And with good reason. These superstars are earning all of their respect. The end for AJ is looking inevitable here. We're going to take a trip on a tour south of heaven. Looks like the champ is going to retain. He retains the title. Damian Priest remains champion. Let's take another look at what made that matchup so memorable. victory as he retains the title. He's definitely fought to keep his championship, and that's something he should be really proud of.